climate change and global warming these two words are interlinked also these words are most neglected but most important words of today's time neglecting these words and avoiding problem those are occurring because of these two reasons leading human being to its doomsday so in today's topic we will going to discuss something which is disturbing because of intense effect of global warming and climate change something is happening in russian eastern siberia and that event is being addressed as mouth of hell and the villagers in the russian siberia have spotted a giant crater that is sinking and appearing to pull everything in it they are calling it the doorway to underworld or mouth of hell as the giant hole continues to grow and it is affecting the landscape of that region the doorway to underworld or mouth of hell actually known as batagaika crater because it is situated in batagai you you cut here in russia in 1960s this crater was just a gully in a slope it is growing continuously since then in 1980s batagaika became 1 km long with 86 m of depth so it is a never ending process the question is what is causing this event according to the scientists the giant crater is the result of melting permafrost land which was frozen during the quaternary ice age 2.58 million years ago the quaternary is one of the five major glacial period in the history of our planet it is one of the time of ice age that lasts about 1 lakh years followed by warmer interglaciers of 10000 to 15000 years each this is particularly happening for the global warming and massive deforestations of that region there was massive forest in batagai region it was cleaned in 1960s because of that sunlight reached and sunlight reached to the ground and started to warm it as the land started getting more and more heat the permafrost thaws and the carries sediments and soil now the crater is more than a kilometer long and more than 900 meters wide with a depth of more than 100 meter so it epitomizes the vulnerability of permafrost in arctic region where the temperature has shot up twice at first as the global average over the past 30 years appearing to these kinds of craters are common day phenomena in arctic region in today's time another crater has appeared in siberia with 20 meter wide and 52 meter deep the crater is in bovanenkovo gas field in the yamal peninsula so let's go back to the vatagaika crater the exposing soil and the ice layers are almost 1 lakh 20000 to 2 lakhs years old possibly up to 6 lakh 50000 years old according to the preliminary dating of lowest layer this makes this oldest permafrost in eurasian region ever discovered that record it could reveal how permafrost and the surface vegetation responded to past warm climates it also gives a window into the times when the permafrost was stable and the times when it was eroding now the burning question is how does the climate change affecting the permafrost as the earth climate warms the permafrost is thawing that means the ice inside permafrost melts leaving behind only water and soil the thawing permafrost can have dramatic impact on our planets and the living things on it for example many northern villages are built on permafrost when the permafrost is frozen it is harder than concrete however the thawing permafrost can destroy houses roads and the other infrastructure because of denudations when the permafrost is frozen the plant material in the soil all the organic carbon cannot decompose or rot away as the permafrost thaws the microbes being decomposing this material this process releases the greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane to the atmosphere when the permafrost thaws so do the ancient bacteria and the viruses in the soil and ice this newly unfrozen microbes could make humans and the animals very sick the scientists has discovered microbe more than 40000 years old so because of these danger scientists are closely monitoring the earth permafrost we are seeing widespread damages because of permafrost thawing and it is causing 2 billion dollar of damage per year to the russian economy apart from thawing russia is also witnessing widespread forest fire for past 3 summers it has already touched or millions of hectares in siberia blanketing the land with dark shoot and charcoal that absorb heat and accelerating the melting of permafrost 
wildfire baked Siberia for first half of 2020. On the 28th June 2020, Siberia's temperature reached 38 degrees centigrade, the hottest temperature ever recorded in Arctic region. These are all happening because of the human-induced climate change. The climate change may expose some of the resources-rich region of Arctic, but it will harm the Earth in a greater way. The Arctic may already reach tipping point. This is based on the observations of 100 field sites. The northern permafrost released on average about 600 million tons of carbon dioxide than vegetation absorbed each year from 2003 to 2017. You can see the differences. One year of extra, e extract is 600 million tons and that will not going to sufficient that has been extracted or absorbed in between the 14 years. So we need save, you need to save the permafrost because the permafrost hold the glimpse of ancient Arctic ecosystems. We cannot, we cannot do the harm to the climate. We cannot do the harm to the living beings. Otherwise, all the living beings will going to get vanished. According to my calculations, maybe we will going to vanish within 150 to 200 years according to the climate model. But we need to survive, survive for this art because we do not have anywhere else to go. This is the only sphere where we can live. Now this is the end of the topic. Now the question, the first question is what is the oldest age of permafrost has ever been recorded? The first option is 7,50,000 years. Second option is 6,50,000 years. Third option is 7,40,000 years. Fourth option is 8,60,000 years. The second question is, from which region oldest aged permafrost date has ever been recorded? First option is Yukon region, Canada. Second option is Yukaita region, Russia. Third option is Point Barrow, USA. Fourth is Nord, Norge region, Norway. So if you want to contact me or any kind of inquiry about this topic, you can contact me through my email address, which is tuhin.power.academy at the red gmail.com. So thank you very much. Thank you for your support and thank you for listening.